so episode two starts out basically with Brooklyn and Ken on a field trip. It seems like someone tried to steal a gem. The Pegasus thinks that this is one of the three gems that is missing or something. The Pegasus asks Ken for help. She wants Ken to ask the magical girl that Chelsea summoned last season to let him use her scepter. She says, I want to do anything to help, but I don't let anyone use my scepter. She can go to Malibu and use the scepter herself. She makes Ken do weird challenges, such as leading bears in a marching group. Meanwhile, Rocky and Chelsea are cleaning the garage, and Rocky makes Chelsea think that she has magic. Chelsea has a spelling bee coming up. I don't know why Rocky doesn't just use magic to clean the garage. Barbie isn't there. She asks Skipper for help, by which I mean she slightly mind-controls Skipper. Barbie doesn't seem too worried about this. Back at the school, Brooklyn is dealing with the play. Daisy is taking over. She wants to make the play more modern by setting it in space with aliens. I just realized, I don't even know what play they're supposed to be doing. Some drama happens. Ken goes to the museum to use the scepter on the gem and finds out that it isn't magic. And then the episode ends with the reveal that whoever they thought was trying to steal the gem was trying to steal a vase. Right, so Brooklyn's parents work at the museum. They're hosting an event to show off their culture to their new community. I'm not sure why Barbie and Brooklyn are wearing their touch of magic dresses. Rocky likes oysters on pizza. I am not judging anyone watching if they also like that. Stacy could have ordered half and half. That's what my family does. The cat will not eat the pizza, but the puppies will. <laughs> Tiger may or may not have visited Canada, so there's a sus bunny corn. The vase is glowing, so if it's already lights out at the museum, then the parents should be back at home and find that Stacy and Rocky are gone. So Barbie and uh, Barbie start going after the bunny, and the lights are on in the hall. I don't know why the lights were out in that one scene. So, a random stick starts pulling Stacy around. Uh, Rocky is doing a report at the council. The council should just go ahead and dismiss Rocky. Stacy likes pineapple on pizza. Again, I'm not judging anyone who likes that. The council gets distracted by a pizza party. The Barbies acknowledge that they are in a horror movie and the killer is slow. But they're still having trouble. It's not a chase. How could they have not gotten back to where the vase is supposed to be? They get cornered. They can just go back up the stairs that are right behind them. Now the council is watching a rom-com. So the guys that hang out with Trey think the school is haunted now. I don't know why Trey would doubt them considering the things he saw last season. I assume he would have told them about the magic and they would have believed him. So the vase from the museum can control all the magic. So the guys that hang out with Trey caught the bunny corn on camera. The Barbies and Rocky should go ahead and work with them. So Leo, the guy that's been acting sus for the last couple of episodes, joins Skipper's club. He goes to her house. You can already tell where this is going. He's a horse. Okay, I didn't actually see that coming. Well, I kind of suspected it because I was thinking about the horse from the end of the last season. Uh, Barbie's dad apparently likes ducks like Lucifer. Anyway, so Leo is a horse. The bunny imprints on uh, Teresa after the Barbies capture it. Okay, never mind. Leo is not the horse that was shown at the end of the last season. Where is that horse? We haven't seen him at all so far. So the Barbies and Rocky chase after Leo, who is actually a centaur. Ken has a great reaction. <laughs> 
So everyone thinks that Leo is the last of his kind and he's trying to find his family, so everyone decides to work together. I'm not surprised by this. So the guys that hang out with Trey uh, caught all of this on camera. So Drew, the lady from last season who wrote the book about Mesmer and then decided to stay in Mesmer, may or may not be evil now. A unicorn girl appears out of a random book that was in her house. So she may or may not have trapped the unicorn girl in that book. Rocky can charge their phones. Why is Barbie so against Rocky using magic? The Barbies talk to a fortune teller. Unicorn Girl is sensitive to liars. Her name is Victory now. When everyone gets home, they eat cotton candy on pizza. Usually when a kid wants their friend to spend the night, the parents call the kid's parents. But it doesn't really seem like Barbie's parents are asking too many questions about Chelsea's new friend. After some time, the Barbies and the sisters tell the parents the truth about the magic. They should also tell them about the time they became mermaids. Do they still have their powers from that movie? Was that movie canon? I know Skipper being able to talk to dolphins is canon because the babysitting adventure movie was mentioned in the first episode of season two. So, everyone's grounded. The fortunes from the fortune teller were real. And magic is exposed to the world, probably. 